So I'm up here at my new berry patch and uh, I'm gonna run this tiller through there. And I've already run it through, uh, this will be my third time. Hopefully this will really get a good, good mix in there. I've got a lot of, had a lot of organic matter like uh, I had some grass there and I let it grow up and I chopped it down and I've been working it into the uh, soil. So I got my John Deere here. Uh, I got my six foot tiller, heavy duty New Holland tiller. And uh, we're gonna heat it. And so uh, this part, I've been saying we're doing a fall cleanup. I was thinking about it, actually we're doing a whole farm rework. So uh, we were, we reworked our uh, pig lot a couple of years ago. Got our pigs moved out there. Kind of started on expanding the goats and the goats will actually come up uh, this way, all the way up through here. All the way up through here. So uh, that's my next big thing, but uh, it gets, uh, I've been working over and yada yada, it gets uh, dark now. Hey, this look at here. It's the first day I've had to had a coat on in a while. But I need to get this berry patch tilled up because I got to get my berries uh, planted. I've got, we got 16 blueberries, I think eight blacks and some blackberries and some uh, raspberries we're going to plant. Right, we'll go over and we'll kind of look what we're going to do. So we're only going to make our rows 50 foot long. To, uh, instead of going all the way out to where the old garden used to be or the old potato patch. So it's only about 50 feet and we're going to go, I don't know exactly how wide yet. Uh, we have some fabric we're going to put down and uh, uh, plant in that. That way we don't have to worry about weeds and stuff. Even though when you put that down, you still got to worry about weeds. But back here in the back, so I started cleaning off back, way back here in the back, way back there. I started cleaning off where I'm going to put the new goat. And actually, uh, let's see, can you see the barn? Yeah. I'm going to go from the corner of the barn all the way up through here and all the way to this line right here. And part of it would be for my boys and the rest part of it would be for my girls. I've got a uh, goat shack, or a, I have one shack ready for the boys. Kind of see the top of it. That used to be the uh, our chicken uh, coop. So we'll make it a uh, for the goats. So uh, and this should be all right. All right, enough yakking. Let's get busy. I'm going to uh, get this till and hope it tills up really nice, and uh, we'll find out here.
Big Red and Little Red said hit that like and subscribe. So it's just a little bit muddy. Uh, we must got, I didn't, forgot to check the rain gauge, see how much rain we got. We got some rain a couple days ago. Uh, it, but it tilled up pretty good. It's still got some organic material laying on top and uh, you can kind of see it. I'll shoot, sh I'll do some, uh, I'll skin over it real quick before we go on. But this is gonna be a berry patch and uh, I'm pretty excited, really excited about that. I've tried it down way down there and uh, I don't know, it's like, uh, it's kind of back there behind and you kind of the side of side out of mine. And hopefully this right here when I drive by it every day to, uh, you know, go beat and stuff. I don't remember to see the train go by. So I'm probably gonna till another time. I kind of wish it'd dry a little bit. I'm kind of excited about getting this in. Uh, kind of wanting to do it over Thanksgiving, but I might not make it. Now, I won't be no videos next week. Uh, you're watching this on Saturday. Uh, we'll have the live Monday. Uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays, well, be in videos. It's Thanksgiving, and I'm gonna take that week off and uh, not do anything video-wise, I don't think. So, uh, so we'll be back. Uh, a week from next Wednesday. So, a week and a half from today. And uh, probably nobody would, <laughs> wants to watch videos anyway on uh, uh, holidays. I know some of them just keep on going like it wasn't nothing, but uh, I'm just a one man show basically, and so I'm gonna take me a little break. So, uh, hopefully, this is gonna get done. I, I really need to go over one more time. I'll show it to you real quick. I don't know if you know this or not, but we're missing one of our sheep, the black and white one. And uh, I'm just trying to keep it real. You know, uh, this is a real farm and farm is not just a YouTube set and uh, things happen. And I don't know what happened, but the black and white sheep, uh, sheep she died. And she didn't have a name. Uh, well, none of these have names. Uh, you know, we raise livestock. I mean, we have dogs for pets and we got the old gray ghost which I haven't seen in a while but uh, you know these were basically a pet to be honest with you because I bought we've had these we've tried to decide how long we've had them maybe four or five years and I bought them at the sale at the auction barn and they were little and I gave $25 a piece for them and I was going to raise them up to big and sell them well you know we got attached to them so they've been out here mowing, mowing the fields forever and I don't know what happened. I mean, I did a video. I think I did a video and moving them and something. Then the very next day, uh, I came out here and she was dead. So I don't think it was worms. Uh, I check them, you know, pretty regular for worms. And I move them every day. So they're not in, you know, you would think there wouldn't be any worm pressure on them. But, uh, and she didn't act sick. That's the thing, you know, I know, I don't know about sheep, but I know goats, you know, they'll act sick for days. When they get the bad worms, you know, they act kind of sick and then they'll die. It takes them a few days, but I mean, she's acting fine. I don't know. I don't know why, but we're just kind of keeping it. Just trying to be honest with you in case you come out here, you don't see the black and white one in the future videos. Uh, yeah, she's gone to the big sheep pen in the sky, so. Uh, she's actually, well, I don't know. I kind of like that one over there pretty good. And uh, this one and the black and white one were, were together. Uh, I, they must they must have been keying somehow from the same time. But it's kind of pitiful because I come over to, when I seen it, and I come over to get her, and she's over there nudging her, trying to get her to come and get up, but she wouldn't, you know, because she'd passed. But uh, it's probably, she's probably, I don't know, I like them both really. Oh boy there, I wish he'd lose his hair. He's got like the comb over. I don't know why he won't lose it. He's a weather. And we had, you know, I don't know if you've been watching the story, but we thought he, I thought he was a, a you, so. But he ain't. So we got a lot of big plans this fall, or this winter actually now. Uh, we're gonna double the size of our vegetable garden. And we'll build a garden shed. We'll build a, another wood shed. We'll build an equipment shed. We're putting our berry patch goats, got fencing to do, get us a, cow, a couple of cows, and so we got big plans. So uh, 
Uh, so we're reworking this whole farm. I've been saying uh, clean up, but it's really a rework. I got trees cut down, just looking behind us here, behind that camera. Got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, hope everybody has a good Thanksgiving. I really appreciate everybody watching. Appreciate all the subscribers. Uh, you're a blessing to our family. Uh, I like doing this, so hopefully, uh, I like making videos. It's kind of fun for me. Uh, hope you enjoy watching them, and I, I really appreciate you taking your time to watch our videos. Uh, I know there's a lot of stuff on there, and you can go other places, but uh, hopefully you can come along on our journey, and we can laugh a little bit, we can cry a little bit, <laughs> uh, we can work hard, and uh, hope you, you learn something, a little something about small farms. So. Uh, I uh, hope everybody has a really good Thanksgiving time with your family. Hey, give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Support your local farmer. We'll see you back here on the farm in a, in a week.